Hi there, Chris here with just a tip for you. In this video, we are going to take a look at MIG Ammo Transpirator. Transpirator? Transpirator. Transpirator. Anyway, this product here is a uh, medium that is added to the paint for basically making colors transparent. Now, that's the, what it would indicate. It makes the colors transparent. Now, to, for something to be completely transparent, it is clear, like, you know, the candy colors. I've got MIG Ammo Yellow here, and this is uh, from their acrylic line. And basically what I'm going to do is here is uh, I'm just going to quickly take uh, just my detail brush here and just kind of um, paint it onto the line, uh, to the wing here of this model. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to apply about uh, three or four coats of this. And it's sitting on top of a gloss coat and it's a metallic finish underneath. And I'm just basically going to show just the opaqueness of this color. And again, it builds up after about four or five, no, about three or four, sorry, for three or four uh, layers. And you can see that it's um, pretty opaque. Sits right on top there. It's nice and bright. Uh, it's pretty good coverage. So far, the paints are, are pretty darn good. But then we're going to add some transpirator. Transpirator? transpirator uh to this um color and basically it's going to thin it out like a glazing medium and when i begin to uh apply it to the model you can see like it's almost non-existent on this first layer and so i apply many layers i go about four or five maybe even six layers i don't recall and you can see it's slowly building the color up and of course that's consistent when we are glazing with this uh this type of technique that we have thinned the color out and we begin building the color up very very slowly and to build a, a nice gra uh, gradient of color on that wing we would have you know applied a couple layers onto the whole wing and then about halfway and then you know just following the edge and we could have built up a really nice gradient and just a couple passes there you can see there's already a bit of a gradient on that wing and so here I'm going to show it sitting on top of a lighter background. And of course you can see I throw the yellow on and it's really nice and bright. It goes on. I only put, I think like one coat on there. And then I use a bit of the clear here and you can see there's a slight gradient on that hammer. And you can see here really quickly how basically uh, you can see how the color and the gradient kind of shows through. Now, is it a true transparency? No, actually it's more like a translucency. Here I'm going to use their nice bright shining gold. This is a really fantastic metallic. Throw a little bit onto the palette and I'm going to show you really quickly how this covers. And basically I do about uh, three layers, I do believe, onto this. And you can see here, just really quickly as I uh, throw it onto the wing, it's about three or four maybe. Uh, and get a nice even uh, coverage on that model surface. And you can see there how the, nice and shiny and reflective and the, the, the metallics are really fantastic. I add a little bit of uh, this transpirator to it and mix it in. And you can see here how, you know, it breaks down into a glaze consistency. And it's not, it's not, again, it's not translucent. It's not turning this thing into like a, like a clear candy color, uh, like uh, any of the other uh, product lines uh, you can see here again I, I, as it basically with each cut it's a it's another layer I'm laying on it and I'm, I basically uh, allowed a little bit of drying time before I laying the next layer down uh, basically I was just blowing on it and then allowed that little layer to dry and again just to really show how many layers it does take to build up but you can see how it builds a nice little gradient on there now again this is more consistent with glazing mediums rather than turning the color into a transparent so for anybody out there who might think that this is going to turn their colors transparent for example tinting uh, say canopies in in uh, vehicles and things of like that using on clear plastics it's not going to really give you that ability it's going to give you the ability to do glazings and uh, you know break down the paint into a nice glazing medium and really that's what this product is it's a glazing product uh, it's not going to turn your colors completely transparent it's not going to make them see through but that is it that's just a tip for you guys thanks for watching like and subscribe